Hello everyone and welcome to our second lecture video uh, or session where I'm going to uh, discuss with you how to prepare the cash book from incomplete records. From the slide presentation we had, we mentioned that the cash book will not miss out if you're facing exam scenario on uh, incomplete records. And of course, we mentioned in the slide presentation that this is an important future of incomplete records. The construction of the uh, cash book is a very important future of incomplete records problems and it helps the business uh, especially if this business does not keep a cash book on a day-to-day -day basis so you'll be required by the examiner to construct a cash book at the end of the accounting period um, the cash book will help us in identifying the cash sales it will help us in ascertaining expenses uh, that have been cleared in cash it will also help us uh, in pointing out on the drawings uh, that have been made uh, by the business proprietor on the account of profit. So in our May 2018 question 2, we are required by the uh, examiner in part B uh, in part B to uh, prepare or construct the cash book of the business because ideally I would presume that our business or John, the proprietor, uh, does not keep a cash book on a day-to-day -day basis. So in this case, you will not prepare a three-column cash book. Uh, most likely, you're going to prepare a two-column cash book showing the cash column and the bank column. So what's going to go to the cash book are strictly cash payments. Do not take things that have not been paid for. Expenses and revenues, uh, expenses that have been incurred are not paid for. Revenues that have been earned and are not received should not go to the cash book. So basically the cash payments in note number one for our May 2018 question, including the cash payments, are going to be taken to our cash book. But of course, we shall be mindful of the balance brought forward in the cash book. Then in note number two, we are able to see that there were cash sales of 66.7 million. Okay. And then uh, we have a cash and bank receipts from credit customers of 15.5 and 50.4 million, respectively. Uh, we have as well some more items that are going to come to the cash book now i've talked about the opening balance for both the cash and bank column these are going to be picked from note number four we have the opening balance on first of january and closing balance on 31st of december but we are going to pick the opening balance as we construct our cash book so the cash the opening balance for the cash is 8.6 uh, million the opening balance for the bank is 2.3 million so as you can see we do not have the closing balances they have been left unknown so that's why we are constructing our cash book so that we can be in position to determine the closing balance for cash and the bank at the same time uh, we shall need to work out in note number six the drawings that have been made in cash in note number six we are told that john's habit uh, john had a habit of taking out cash of 100,000 every two weeks from the business for non-business use i'm going to demonstrate how to arrive at the total drawings for the year using information given in note number six in note number eight again you see that uh, john acquired a loan okay an interest-free loan from his cousin of 15 million and this entire loan was used to purchase land where he uh, plans to relocate the business um, so we, we shall also have uh, 15 million coming in on the part of the loan in the cash book uh, we are also told that uh, John repaid his cousin in the year six million cash in respect to this loan so this must also be reflected in our cash book the balance is to be repaid in 2018 so that one will uh, will remain as an uh, unpaid 
loan in our books of accounts. So straight away, I'm going to take you to our cash book to show how the entries we are supposed to look like. Right, on your screens right now is our two column cash book. Of course, you would ideally give the cash book a title, John Enterprises, cash book for the year 2017. Uh, you show the particulars this uh, on the debit side. You also show uh, the particulars on the credit side. So of course, as you all know, a cash book has two columns, the cash column and the bank column, both on the debit and the credit side. Remember the credit side is the uh, paying side and the debit side is the receiving side. And the cash book must have an opening balance. So we have our balance brought forward. These have already indicated in the question. Uh, we have seen that the cash balance on 1st of January 2017 was 8,650,000, uh, whereas the opening balance for the bank was 2.3. So uh, what came in, all the receipts that we had included the cash sales of 66.7 million uh, in cash. We also had a loan from the cousin of uh, 15 million in cash. Uh, we also had collections from our customers. Again, from the question, I've indicated this 15 million in cash, 15.5 million in cash, and then 50.4 million uh, through the bank. Then uh, some of the uh, payments, what we paid out, uh, included the drawings, which I'm going to indicate in, in, in working number one. These drawings total to uh, 26 million, I'll indicate that. Then the land, uh, the land, we purchased land in cash, 15 million, that money moved out. Then we repaid the loan, 6 million, that is on the paying side. Uh, we also made some cash purchases, working number four. I'll indicate the cash purchases. I'm handling them in the next lecture video. Please look out for that. Uh, both, uh, I mean, uh, cash purchases of step four, 0.8 million. We paid rent of um, 18 million. I think you have seen that in the note. We also paid for water bills. Uh, we paid for water bills, a tune of 1.5 million. Then electricity, our electricity bill that we paid was 5.6 million. We also paid for the salaries, uh, salaries of um, 6.5 million. Then you see, uh, this one I think I need to indicate it here. Uh, you see that we have uh, the rent is here, that's the 18 million, that is not number one. Uh, this is where I've picked my rent of 18 million. Water bill is 1.5, electricity bill is 5.6, salaries and wages of 6.5, trading license of 750. That's where I've picked my figures. Um, so we also have the KCCA license, uh, which was, was paid through the bank, 650. And then payments to the suppliers, these are unknown, so I worked this one out. So this I have working, please look out for working four and five, those are in the next lecture video. Just after this video, you'll be able to get uh, the clear explanation where I get the 35.5 million. So we had the balance carried forward uh, when you compare what we received in cash and what we paid out. Indeed. Uh, we received more than what we paid out. We received 105 million. Uh, so uh, that leaves us with a balancing figure. If I balance off at 105, uh, the uh, credit balance or the paying side is deficient by 2.3 million. Um, when I go to the bank column, uh, we received again more than what we paid out. We received uh, 52 million whereas uh, we paid out 42 million. So I balance at 52 million, leaving me with a, a deficiency on the paying side of 9.9 .9 million. So this is the completed cash book. You can pause the lecture video, put down the figures, and then go to the next lecture video, which works out uh, working uh, four and, and working number five. Now, uh, for the case of the drawings, I'm going to share this right now because it's part of this. So straight away, I'll take you to the uh, the figure for the drawings. So uh, this is where I have my working working one on the drawings. 
and the facts are that we have 52 weeks in a year and we are told that we are told that drawings were made every two weeks so you needed to get the number of times drawings were made so to get the number of times drawings were made you get the 52 weeks which are the total number of weeks in a year divided by two so this means that John drew out money 26 times in a year so if he was drawing 100,000 every time then it means that we need to get 26 then it means that we need to get our 26 times 100,000 so that gives us 2.6 million as the total money that was drawn out of the business so that's why you see that in my cash book I have the 2.6 million as the figure for my drawings so uh, that brings us to the end of the preparation of our cash book but as I've mentioned the typical typical future in incomplete records includes uh, construction of a cash book especially if the business person has not been preparing this on a day-to-day -day basis so I want you to go to the next lecture video that handles a discussion on the credit sales unknown then I shall come to purchases unknown and then you'll be able to appreciate where I get all these figures that I bring to the cash book thank you